Maafisa wa NHIF waliofika mbele ya kamati ya taifa kuhusu afya walikumbwa na jukumu la kueleza kinaga ubaga usambazaji wa fedha katika bodi hiyo ndani ya miaka miwili iliyopita. Wakati ambapo kamati hiyo ilitaka majibu ya ni kwa nini walichelewesha malipo ya hospitali zinazotoa huduma za NHIF katika robo ya mwaka wa fedha 2022 2023. The FAD made a surplus after tax. So from Lima, a surplus means you made more money than the creams. Of six billion. Of six billion. So why are we unable to pay? If we are even making a surplus, why are we unable to pay? And then looking at your statement, you have a surplus. In one ad, you are unable to pay. In one ad, you are investing in shares. In another ad, you are giving hospitals loans. Like I can see you give even empty alight alone. Kamati hiyo ilichunguza matukio ambapo hospitali hazijapokea fedha za kuanzia shilingi milioni moja hadi shilingi milioni tano huku hospitali moja ikilipwa haraka shilingi milioni 682 Where you have even hospitals making claims and they are being paid promptly some hospitals are paid promptly and huge amounts of money while other hospitals have not been paid even for the, for, the, for more than a year. Yeah. So what is it? What what is happening? Is NHIF uh, senior management colluding with uh, some people, some hospitals? The biggest percentage of payments to providers by NHIF goes to private hospitals. The expose that was provided seems to reinforce the feeling of Kenyans that actually NHIF is a funder of private uh, service providers at the expense of Mwananchi who is contributing. NHIF imekumbwa na tuhuma kuwa baadhi ya maafisa wake wanafanya kazi katika hospitali Bandia ili kuikamua bima hiyo ya milioni ya pesa ikiwemo kuwasilisha taratibu zisizokuwa za lazima kama upasuaji kwa wazee. At somebody last week who need the MRI services He went round 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 but eventually it was given in Kenyatta. Now today when I was finding out it sounded that when he saw his, his, his the, the, the paper that proved it he was saying like he was admitted in Kenyatta. He wasn't admitted but he got an MRI. So what, what how are the mechanisms? Uamuzi wa kuanzisha tume ya uchunguzi unajiri siku chache baada ya Rais Ruto kutangaza mpango wa kuwalazimisha wafanyikazi wenye mshahara kulipa 2.75% ya pato lao kwa hazina ya NHIF. Pendekezo ambalo limepokelewa kwa hisia mseto na wa Kenya. Majibu Kitsao Runinga ya K24.